this is a team that, you know, plays at the highest levels yeah. across the world, course, right? Course. You, you have players like Wenyan and Gabriel who mm-hmm. have played in the NBA for six plus years. Yeah. You have, like we mentioned, the Nuno Mats, right? Mm-hmm. BAL and playing in Europe across mm-hmm. the board. We have so many players on that South Sudan team, as well as being led by Luol Deng, you of know, course. an all-star, NBA all-star, you know, played for Chicago Bulls mm-hmm. and, and, and had a really long a career in the NBA. So it's not anything amazing to me. And I'm looking at it like the South Sudanese team, they have the belief that they can go up against anybody because we we are of that higher quality. Like, Mm -hmm. it's not like we are just a bunch of, you know, non-pros that just have to magically come together and then we're expecting to lay down. Uh, I think it really did what it was supposed to do. That initial game against the U.S. because we're looking at this team as, like we mentioned, Dream Team 2.0. I mean, it's it's really exciting to see... um, a, a first-time Olympic team coming together. Uh, of course, once again, as we have all, all we mentioned this last week, and it's something to reiterate, uh, these are not amateur players. These are players who play at the best level across the world. They're right. playing in Australia. They're playing yeah. at the BAL. Mm-hmm. They're playing in the NBA. They play in the G League. Right. So these are all A-list players, right? right? right. And so to a certain extent, I'm pretty sure some of them have probably come across LeBron James and all that <laughs> at some point in their career. And so for me, it was really exciting to see a, an inspirational story. Everybody loves that inspirational story. Right. Uh, B, to see the overwhelming support that the world, the basketball world across the whole world yeah. decided, you know what, let's actually pay more attention to this. This right. unpacks a whole different layer because by God's grace, should they win a gold medal right. or a silver or medal, medal or, or medal. any right, medal, right, right. I think the amount of attention it gives to basketball in South Sudan yeah. and basketball in Africa right. is a whole different layer that an attention yeah. that the world should be ready for. Right. Uh, once again, it's something that we applaud for these different leagues that are paying more attention to Africa mm-hmm. before we even get to the Olympics, right? right so we right. have, for example, the NBA, right. who's investing more in the Basketball Africa League. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're seeing all these different FIBA uh, you know, competitions that are being held on the, com- uh, on the continent. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think, once again, uh, South Sudan has pressure because mm-hmm. the whole continent is looking at them like, hey, yeah. you got a champion for us. But at the right. same time, it seems as though a lot of these players are ready for that pressure. 